bright sunshine and a very knowledgeable crowd were on hand for the start of the fifth round of the FIA WEC Championship as Jim Hall flagged off the old Porsche front row, expectations high and entertainment delivered. The first corner, Mark Webber in the 17 car, slightly miffed at not getting the pole position yesterday, decided to make up for lost time early, went round the outside of his teammate Neil Jarney and then for the early part of the race, never looked back. The 17 car was imperious and pulled away. Didn't even lose the lead during the pit stops. All tight but fair down in the midfield with the Toyota number one splitting the two Audi, spotted by Alan McNish down in the pit lane. The seven Audi having to give best to the World Championship winner from last year. But at the head of the field, the two Porsches began to stretch their legs. Only Audi able to stay with them. In the early running, the two GTE Porsches were shuffled back down behind the Aston Martins, but as the stint ran on, the Astons dropped down the field. In LMP2, it was a remarkable drive from the back of the field to the front. The 47 KCM G car had started dead last in their class, and Nico Lapierre and Richard Bradley brought it to the front within the first hour. In fact, they were at the front of the P2 field before the P field was last. Ed Brown getting away with a very nasty incident when his brakes failed coming down to the final corner. The ESM Patron prototype skipping across the gravel after being pitched into the air by the inside curve. The car damaged, but Ed making his way back to the pits. A little shaken, but none the worse for his wild ride. Plenty of side-by-side -side action in the battle for GTE Am, Porsche and Ferrari. And a very nasty moment for Mike Conway as he got tipped into a spin, trying to pass the battling GTEs. Somehow managed to keep the car out of the barriers. Cat-like reflexes from Mike Conway. Didn't see much of the 17 car in the first half of the race because it was just pulling away, but as night fell, Fortunes changed, especially for Mike Conway, trying to lap, and Aston Martin just got onto the kerbs at the exit of turn number 11 onto the back straight. The car got away from him, and the Toyota TSO 40 hybrid was into the barriers. The team picking up the news of the car's demise on the TV screens, and what remained of the car came back to the pits on a flatbed.